Hey everybody, Todd and Sarah from Living Hope. Where there's always hope with God. So one of the things we're going to talk about uh, today is peace. Mm. You care to give us a definition of peace, honey? Ooh. Or a biblical definition of peace? Yeah, my Bible um, in the concordance says that peace is a state of calm. Mm. Yes, I could use more peace. Yeah. And it also says that it's freedom from strife or discord. Hmm, that sounds nice. And it also says harmony and personal relationships. Yay, harmony. I think these are all things that uh, we would desire. Yeah. Right, right. So um, one verse uh, we've got here is John 16, um, verse 33. And it says, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, take heart, right? Have that sense of calm. We don't need to have strife. We don't need to have discord. Right. We can have a sense of calm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be, uh, you know, despite how difficult things may be in our world, uh, we don't want that to overdrive our knowledge of what our future is. And, you know, as God states, you know, he's overcome the world. He's overcome the world. God is large and he's in charge. Right. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's not up to us. Yeah. And uh, also just uh, one other verse, uh, Proverbs sixteen seven. When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord... He makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Boy, what a great promise that is, huh? I think that goes along with um, the definition of freedom from strife or discomfort. You mm -hmm. know, we're not going to be super best friends with everybody in this world, but we can reduce strife and we can get rid of uncomfortableness by being peaceful, by offering peace into the relationship. Right, right. Well, I hope you guys find this helpful, and I hope you have a great day. God bless.